Back it comes to use van der Vestes and little knock forward. But that's it. South Africa have won the World Cup. Having been back in international rugby for less than three years and having not taken part in the first two competitions at their first attempt, they have stolen the crown. Unbelievable scenes all around the park. Francois Pina, as you can see, absolutely in tears. Pina, who had a lot of criticism as captain on the field, they all knew he had what it took off the field, a tremendous ambassador. He's probably on the field now. And the whole of South Africa behind him. A momentous occasion. And just looking even at the flags and the supporters there, I can't tell you how much this place has changed in the last three years. When we came to see the first match back after isolation, it was all the old South African flag. There still wasn't a black face to be seen. But now it really is this rainbow nation all behind their team. Kitch Christie, the coach, who's also been criticised a tremendous amount for his selections, everything's worked. Casey Pinar with him, his assistant. Chester Williams there congratulating Brendan Pinter on getting onto the field. Incredible scenes. President to the captain. There it is. Francois Pinar. And Nelson Mandela is cheering along with the whole of the stadium. A sea of flags. Wonderful moment for the whole of South Africa. We hardly believed it could happen for them but it has and now the celebrations i'm sure will go on for at least a week